These teeth are over a thousand years old. Researchers believe teeth contain information about a person's life expectancy. In the Middle Ages, people in Europe were about half the size of the average person today. The details can be found in the interior of the tooth. How does quality of life affect age? What were the effects of crises of the time, such as war, plagues, and famine? The composition of enamel can answer those questions. Just like a tree trunk, it has annual rings that vary according to age and health. It seems the past can give an insight into the future. Researchers at the Max Planck Institute for Demographic Research in Rostock are experimenting with tiny forms of life. Millions of yeast cells in this dish can give information on how a group of organisms develops under certain conditions. This glass bottle can hold as many yeast cells as there are people on Earth. In the experiment, yeast cells are subjected to stressful conditions, hunger, heat, and severe shaking. How many will survive? Are they still healthy and multiplying? The research produces facts and figures which the scientists want to transpose onto humans to find out more about their life expectancy. Life expectancy is a hot topic right now. In a study, we looked at record life expectancies, the best values from around the world drawn from observations in different countries over a period of time. We looked at how this has developed over the last one and a half centuries, and the result was surprising and exciting. We found that over the last 160 years, life expectancy has risen linearly by an average three months per year. However, living longer does not always guarantee a better quality of life. Why do we often experience a deterioration in our physical and mental capacities in old age? Is there a link? This experiment hopes to answer why old people fall easily. On an obstacle course, the participant has to keep walking on the line. A computer registers every deviation. The exercise is made considerably more difficult when intellectual tasks have to be solved at the same time. Then the elderly participants make even more mistakes and the danger of their falling and injuring themselves increases considerably. One fascinating result from our research is that in old age, a large part of our mind, our intellect, our brain, must be used in coordinating our body. That's a brand new insight. In a sense, we buy a mortgage in old age, which invests our intelligence in a completely different direction than we imagined. A threadworm, just a few millimeters long, can show us how to stay fit in old age. Its genome has been decoded, each of its cells analyzed. Researchers at the Max Planck Institute in Berlin are studying it to find out what processes in the cells are the crucial factor in aging. For the purposes of the study, they altered the worm so that it not only lives longer, but also keeps fit longer. Their biggest discovery was that the activity of hormones and certain proteins are what keeps the old worm fit. A normal worm lives for about four weeks and moves slowly in old age. Artificial stimuli result in barely any reactions. 
But the engineered worm is different. Even in old age, it's still mobile and healthy. These findings may hold the key to how long and how well future generations will live.